Centigore milk. Yeah, me milk Centigore. Sweet boy he was. Oh! <laughs> I've never read that ingredient before. Oh my... Uh. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And welcome to today's cast. So good of you to join us. Ready to dive back into some Immortal Empire, and uh, I think we'll probably pick up with Grom the Punch, where we left off yesterday. Sleep is overrated. No, it's not. Sleep's like the greatest thing ever. Sleep, sleep is the least overhyped thing in the world. You know, it's the best kept secret. As a kid, you couldn't appreciate that. <laughs> Especially. What's up, guys? How we doing? Uh, we we're basically abandoning Bordello anyways. Oh, damn it. And there's a orc lady here. Ah, oh, man. I mean, River Troll Hag. Ooh, tree cover in the way of the siege towers? That's a little, that's a little naughty. Orc should probably rip the peasants apart, at least for, for the start of it. Start getting a couple of things built. It's still crazy to me that, sli that that your range can target the towers now. Like, I know that they're probably not necessarily the best at hitting that, but it, it's cool to have an option, you know? i fall these guys back, get them ready. I'm seeing a little bit of, like, blinking when I'm moving the stuff. Just gonna start upgrading the. Well, you know what? They, they are peasants, so maybe it would actually be a little bit better to continue with the cheaper tower upgrades. Again, chat. We made some some changes to our visual settings. Uh, let us know if you guys are thinking it looks better or or worse. Basically, it's looking like these things are basically out of that range now. Wow, they actually dodged my orcs. They dodged my orcs! Yet at the same time, it's probably a bit relevant still to have them like that. This thing's taking a little bit longer to build than I thought it would. Which, which Thunderdome is he in? <laughs> There's several of them now. Skaven slaves getting down to it. 1200. Ooh, that one's connected to there as well. It's actually pretty good. Oh my god, 2000? For the catapult tower? I don't know if I want to wait that long. Get down here, you gits! Just hold a little bit longer, keep stalling them. Just hold them back a little bit, skirmish mode on for you. Okay, well, uh, we're working on that. You guys guard there. Yeah, they've been bogged down pretty heavily. The orcs at least held their ground pretty well. They're actually all getting pretty nicely distracted at the moment. Get that to hold a little bit longer. Blood looks more vibrant as well. Whether that's good or bad, I'm not sure. Noticing the textures in the shields a lot better, too. I don't know, guys. What are you thinking about the, the visual changes we made to the game? Think it's an improvement upon previous casts? Damn, wish I had another archer right there, though. It's gonna be big once this thing turns on, though. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna... ...build one of these two at the moment. Looks like our tower just got finished in time. Not tower, our, um... Our wall barricade. Alright, catapult tower is online. It might not be able to hit them all that well, though. To start with. I think we're gonna maybe even have it target these guys for now. Okay, we do have a unit of orc boys still. We got three units of orc boys still. Alright, so we're gonna use the goblins to just try and basically exhaust these units over here, just to lower their fighting proficiency. So we got 800 over here. We're gonna start building another turret soon. Oh, I, thought I, I thought I had another one up here. Do I not? Uh-oh. Where's this one? See, they're not sending things to capture our other points, really. There's this one. I just know that this one doesn't really fire very reliably into the, into the center. That's a tough call. I'm gonna risk it just because, like, I know the other ones are not- we're not gonna get much mileage out of them anyways. So continuing to volley here. 
I'm coming up the way. Right. A lot more hits effectively getting through there, too. But Tony's even running out of uh, ammunition over there. All right. That needs to potentially be stopped. Oh, don't, don't want you missing that. Should have actually should have had the goblins there instead. Still don't really have unit density to justify shooting into this spot. We're chipping away at their general. I don't really want to turn these ones off at the moment. Catapult tower. Bam! Oof. Get him, catapult tower. Get him. Put some hurt on him. Yeah, you can totally see, though. I, I bet our towers are actually hurting us even more. AI not targeting the towers, being very silly of them. Me too upset. I uh, need to get to 1,500 to upgrade to a catapult. I think that's what we will wind up doing. It'd be much easier to shoot these guys in the back right here, I bet. Yeah, there we go. All right, so they're out of ammunition now anyways. All right. Probably a bad idea to turn this one off, but we're going to upgrade that one. Oh, come on, what kind of a miss was that, dude? Oh, that's a much better hit. Much better hit. Was that green skin quality accuracy? Yeah. Or Skaven. Depending. Debating if we pull back. I, th I think the center square is still our, our best defensible position. I see that my goblins are starting to, to waver. All right, we got them running there. Oh! Another big blast. Their lord is having some difficulties. Damn, that target density right there, though. We can't hit that, I don't think. All right, their general is running. Our orc boys are chasing after their peasant bowmen. Possibly to retake a square here. Might even get them to flank in a moment here. I wonder if, if him fleeing next to his units actually causes more issues. I don't really want them to be getting shot, though. So we'll back them up here. Basically force them to have to flank. Ah, you guys stick around there, too. Chasing archers up the way. Yeah, see, that's not helpful. Chasing those guys. Uh, we're gonna charge into their flank up here. That sounds like that could be good. And it looks like we caught them. I don't know if we can hit them up there. That would be amazing if we could. Hit them? That's, that's not so bad. That hit part of us though. Goblins into the flank. Yeah, let's not let our general get shot. If we can help it. That catapult is probably helping us as much as it's hurting us. I feel like maybe I should even pull everyone back and let them into the square a bit. Could also move down over to here. Yeah, we're getting hits over there. Alright, goblins! Into their flank as they chase! Goblins have defeated the peasant bowmen! And are currently chasing them. Goblins are in the flanks, pinning them between two sources, but there's enough of them that they might weather the storm. Don't let them shoot us there. Let's charge these gits down here. All right, those units there are broken. We've got 2,000 resources, but again, I don't really know if there's anything that we can really do right now. Can't upgrade this one, so we'll do that. In the event that they, they break into the center, what time? Right as we get into combat. Chop us out, boys!
And there you go. We did. We did it. Cool. Not 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 too shabby. Well done, Garrison. All right. 253 kills on that lord. Bowie. Wowie, wowie. Yeah, for for our next run that we do, there's a possibility that we'll we'll mod out the settlement battles though. As as they're kind of neat, but I don't know. A bit repetitive. All right, you goblins, eat them. Devour them. Yeah, we got a lot of money, so we'll do that. Might be t might be time to check out Grimhammer again at some point, but I I don't think we will for a little bit because there's still so much vanilla content to to check out since it just came out. I, I view SFO as being what it did to Total War Warhammer 2 for me. Like, after getting a, you know, a thousand hours into Warhammer, spicing it up. Oh, I didn't even realize there was, there was people there. It says decisive victory. But you know what? Kind of want to kill some elves. Kind of want to fight some battles, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. SFO won't even be ready for Immortal Empires for, I'm guessing, two months minimum. Could be, yeah. All right, now we've got some proper lighting chat. Do, do, do the visuals look better or grainier with the settings that we have on right now? Dwarves are really good because their play style... I mean, actually, maybe settlement battles, it's a different case because they're so slow. Troll flanks are fun. Wow, reinforcements coming out the same spot? A minute 58 and... Two minutes? Oh god. That's bad for you. She's she's not reinforcing, she's fleeing. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, we got a better camera mod now so we can actually get get closer to the action when zooming. Pouring their way into the fine elvish lands, a goblin tide, a goblin raid. Something's happening over here. Oh, the lines of war. This is how goblins kill high elves, by the way. They swarm them. This right here is a goblin fight. Back into regular motion. Actually, yeah, flank this sea guard. That wah ready voice, though, needs to get fixed. Ugh, the bouncing camera. Put those trolls over there. Yeah! Party time! Okay. Wah! Oh man. Yeah, and that that lady just got caught. That wizard over there. Through their vineyards. The f so in Warhammer Tabletop, high elves were a very interesting race. Spears were what the most popular weapon, spear and shield because you could fight in two ranks with them. Meaning that uh, normally in Warhammer, only models that are in base-to-base -base contact with them for Warhammer Fantasy can strike each other. But if you had spearmen and they were in two ranks, the, the spearmen behind the front rank could attack as well, making them exceptionally useful when, it's, when stacking attacks in the meta was more, more prominent. With that said, High Elves were expert spear users, and they could actually fight in three ranks with elvish spears, which gave them a tremendous advantage for block formation. The only way it got better than that, I believe, was with Dogs of War, using pikes. 
Uh, which I believe could either fight in three ranks or four ranks. Sounds pretty nasty, hell yeah. And on, in Warhammer Fantasy, you basically had a few options for things. And mathematically, some things were just better than other things. So, for example, uh, hand weapon and shield, or just having a shield in general. Typically speaking, plus one to your armor save. That in itself is very valuable. Spearmen can fight in two ranks. Unless you're Elvish, three ranks. Pikemen fight in four ranks. Uh, Halberd. Minus one to your armor save, I think it was. Something like that. Flails. Plus one strength in the first round of combat. Great swords, or great weapons. Plus two strength, always, for combat. Great weapons were frequently the, mo the, the most used alongside with spears and hand- Spear and shield and hand weapon and shield. Flails didn't really get used ever. Things like that. We still have a bunch of people here. This fight ain't over yet. Okay. Well, here we go. We'll get them to track her down. Looks like we killed those elves over there. We're gonna rush through. Now, not the best target for them because they're Lothar and Seaguard. But this is two units of trolls here. And, uh, I guess we'll see. Now that their charge is done, whether or not they actually continue to lay the hurt on them. Yeah, I think they're probably going to win that fight against them, even though they're spearmen. I think they're going to win that fight just fine. Have you played Warhammer Fantasy since Convergence to Age of Sigmar? No, I have started, con like, slowly collecting a little bit of Age of Sigmar. I haven't really taken the plunge into that yet. I plan on playing the old world, but I will say this. I, I, I remember Warhammer Fantasy with, with what I believe to be rose-colored glasses, because the setup time and how long it took to do everything in that game was so long. It took so long to do anything in that game. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm in a total rush to get back to that. Age of Sigmar, though, with Warhammer Fantasy lore, sounds pretty good. In War- Honestly, in Warhammer Fantasy, the closest thing to a Space Marine would be a Chaos Warrior, a Chaos Space Marine, or a Bretonian Grail Knight. Bretonian Grail Knights, and they don't fight on foot. Not in- not in- this, at least. But in terms of power, in terms of, like, prowess on the battlefield, the closest thing in Warhammer Fantasy to that would either be, like, Chaos Chosen or, or a Grail Knight. Could you win this game only by auto battle? Because I couldn't coordinate battles like this. Yeah. Age of Sigmar equivalent to Space Marines and Stormcast Eternals. Yeah, they were asking about fantasy, though, weren't they? Yeah, for, for Age of Sigmar, it's the Stormcast Eternals. Literally, they, we call them Sigmarines. As a little jab at them. I would say dwarves would be like marines. I mean, in some ways, I guess they got weapons teams and stuff like that, so... I guess I could see it. Whoa! Slanesh units in our goblin army. Well, we'll think about that. We'll think about that. It's kind of weird. Hell pepper shrooms. Worth all the rancid gas you gonna you's gonna get. <laughs> it's sl slipping, Jimmy. Hey, that's worth all the rancid gas you's gonna get. Is frenzy for goblin and night goblins and twenty five percent fire resistance for all armies. Ah! Damn it! The hell with the river troll hag quests. I hate it. I hate it. Damn it! So aggravating. Ah! Taste my squig, dead thing. Battle of Cairn Fell. What a beautiful place. We got our liquor-infused trolls ready to go. Alright, goblins. Get to it. Those bats are bad news, so go get them. Sweeping in on their, their path. Big dead things! Stupid skeletons! Stone trolls are no joke. 
I played the Archaeon campaign yet? Not since his re redo. Yeah, definitely noticing like the rust textures on these weapons a lot better now. I hope they kind of like shape, like, I don't know, come up with a better scent flying animation than the one default one. I wonder if any modders might do that someday. Okay, I thought they were going to like walk backwards. Never mind, I, I'm not really understanding the differences, I guess, just yet. It's all peasants and one unit of Knights of the Realm. We do have black orcs. I kind of want to fight this. Yeah, why not? Okay, so so there's a big chunk of forces here. We could Vanguard deploy. Oh man, they've got a lot of fire archers. That would be a good way of denying them that. All right, so here's the plan. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh. Nasty skulkers. And Night Goblin Fanatics. Everything but the Black Orcs and the Biggins have Vanguard deployment. Our archers will uh, serve as bait. Actually, you know what? They're probably going to want a couple of units of archers as well. I know they're in the woods. For you to turn them around to disengage. Is that different than Jay? I thought Jay was disengage. Holy shit. Oh my god. Well then, this is gonna backfire, I think. <laughs> All right, um, brace up. I guess they have, oh yes, they, they had three banners. This is supposed to be a big deal. The premise of this is I was gonna have, you know what, that's what I need to do. I gotta have my black orcs get into the trees and then just try to fight. I gotta keep in mind though, they are just peasants. Mounted yeomen and all of that. 47 seconds until they arrive. We've also got some magic. We got like vindictive glare and all that stuff. Hunt them down. Orc biggins. Yeah, those archers are not gonna get to do what we want them to do, but if they can tar pit a little bit, that that's kinda all we want them to do. Yeah, keep them going. Fighting in the woods. Black orcs! Black Orcs versus Peasant Mob. It's a happy day. It's a happy day to be a Black Orc. Enemy reinforcements approaching as we trigger the war. They march onto the field. And we immediately begin. Night Goblin Fanatics. Night Goblin Fanatics swinging. Rah! Chopping. That is a good fanatic hit. Oh my god. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Sliced one unit down pretty good. All right, pile them nasty skulkers in. Let's get some, uh... Oh, back these archers up. Biggins, chase those guys away. We collapse them down. Holy shit, I just realized that these archers also have fanatics. I didn't think we had those units. Uh, I don't think I can change their direction any longer, but that'll be a good blasting direction as well. That would have been a good thing to know from earlier. Which I'm guessing these guys also have fanatics. Blast them that way. I'm guessing you guys also have fanatics then. Blast you guys this way. Which means you guys must also have fanatics. And so we will blast you all this way. Actually, wait a minute. I could even slice down the line on them. Kind of hard to aim now, though. Just got to be careful of the black orcs. Don't want them to get... Yeah, look at that. Shredded that unit down. And another one? That soon? I don't mind if I do, I guess. Sneaky stabbing. Oh, that'll go pretty far on... Little bit of green magic. Blam! Okay, meanwhile over here... Nasty Skulkers, Sneaky Stabbers... Whamma-Bammas... 
Um, it's not doing great over here. And they are running off the field. Blast through them. Give, give them some of that old stabby magic. Black orcs with sneaky stabbing on them. The biggins chasing them down. Die, green skin scum. You first! I played an orc that broke the first, the, the fourth wall in D&D a little bit every now and then. That's what you get for going first! Me going second! I actually played Krusk from the player's handbook. Our, our dungeon master made a little a one-shot campaign where we had to play, uh... We had to play... What was it? Characters from the player's handbook? Like, actually straight up. Black orcs tearing things up. Getting shot a little bit. Hmm. More fanatics. No, we don't want the we don't want the black orcs to get hit by that. Twenty five percent increase armor piercing weapon damage. Black orcs and biggins will carry this if at all. Oh my god. Oh jeez. All right. Well, this flank is being uh, hurt. <laughs> pretty badly. We'll save our fanatics for the next volley. Fire! Hey, you gets! I said fire! What? Or don't. There we go. Not very many dead peasants from that volley, but that's okay. Broken, broken, broken! That's what I like to see. Fanatics! Send them through the trees! This Bretonian Lord, however, might kill our general. Oh, he's running! He's what? No, he's not. Not anymore. Gets back in there. Gets surrounded by black orcs. Oh, I'm sorry, orc biggins. And that armor-piercing damage. Bohemond, the Beast Slayer. Down he goes. All that finery and silk. Not enough. Ah, oh, damn it. These archers have rallied. Nah. Yeah, we need... We need them to waste as much ammunition as possible. We need them to. Still feel like I'm saving the law for a moment here. We got runners. We got runners. Hey! We caught the archers! They are surrounded. Fanatics save this battle? Quite possibly. I mean, it's not over yet. Alright, well now we gotta get our orcs up into this spot. Yeah. yeah. The ones that have lots of ammunition left. We need to target them. It's still- it's- a, this fight's possible. At this point. But it's gonna be a little tricky. Let's actually get these guys to run, try and trigger their skirmish modes. Alright, looking for fanatic targets now again. Sneaky stabbers. Into combat. Oh no, another general. Now that's bad. Now that is not ideal. I'm not quite sure how. Um, because we need to have our black orcs in position over here. Still not quite ready to wa. Uh... Eh, fine. Black orcs surrounding. Use that on him. Unfortunately, that I, I didn't know there was another general still on the field. That might be it for us because now I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to tar pit as effectively. Okay, we got fanatics. <laughs> you said it, goblin. You said it. Avoid the black orcs! Oh god. Oh god. Swinging, chopping. Does not look like- okay, we're gonna get this one at least into this chunk right here. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. A little bit of extra damage. Yeah, unfortunately, th this general's now chewing through us. But we're also killing hit, so there is that. Nasty skulkers. Those are actual knights right there. Oh! That was uh, almost a really good fanatic throw. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw dung on them for a smoke bomb to reduce their charge bonus. General is fleeing. He will be back. Let's get everyone back into the woods. General's being shot. General running. General feeling stronger, surrounded by black orcs. Everybody back into the woods. And look who's returning all valley. Prince Valiant on his way to save the day. Oh no! Green magic misses! Wah! Ugh. Unfortunate. Damn. I think it's gonna fall apart at the end here, chat. We're doing- we're doing our best. Let's see, we- we- we do have some fanatics still. We gotta get closer though to be able to use them. Actually, maybe we don't. Hold on a second. It's gotta be something I don't under, quite understand for it. Alright, so nasty skulkers. And fanatics are gonna close in on on these guys here. Duh! Archers rallied. Damn you! Damn you! Peasants, their general is running again. Our general is being shot at in the woods. Not a whole lot I can do about that right now. We're the great time. Oh, the buff is off cooldown now. This is it! This, is, this very well may be it. Two, one, zero. Reduce their movement speed so they can't skirmish flee. And skulkers! Into their backs with goblin shanks. Target them there. I saw that we have a fanatic at the ready on one of these. I think I want to use it on the Black Orcs. Alright, they're bro- Oh! There it goes! Woo! I'll take it. I'll take it. A little good night kiss for ya! Oh, sorry. Hit the biggins. Had to keep them in line, after all. Oh, boy! 388 kills on the biggins, 407 for the Black Orcs. They gained three levels just from that fight. Wow, Bertone is really coming down here. Decisive victory. I can't believe that we were able to do that. I mean, it was all peasants. Hmm. That's a lot of orcs. They have a Tyrion. I'll fight it. You like Fit Finley, and you love to fight. Wow, that's all they're attacking with? It seemed like such a bigger force. Wow, what a huge map. See, I want to play with like thousands of people on models on a map like this. Power Ranger birds up there. Capital Towers are nuts. Yeah, let's see a couple more of these shots, shall we? Oof. Oof. Damn, that is a lot of damage to go through. White lions, though, on the walls are certainly going to be a problem. Eagles. Definitely got some sleepy, sleepy nap time stuff going on. Focus fire. That was a lot of misses there. How is it going? Oh my god, what a turret shot right there. That was great. You have still tons of tower kill potential. Oof. White lions and orcs are scrapping it. Actually, are those biggins? Orc boys. Still chasing... Are they getting these guys? Yeah, they are. Chasing down the remaining... Elves that are here and cornering them. Ah! Got to move them on to fight Tyrion after this. 
Which we know is not going to be a very fun fight. <laughs> we know that it's going to go very poorly, probably. Assuming we even make it there in time. He's already at the square. The orcs are actually beating the white lions over there. I am very surprised by that. Alright, trolls have rallied and are regenerating. So we're going to send them back on over to Tyrion. Yep. It's uh, looking like that turret is not going to get finished. I don't think we're going to make it into the town square in time. Oh, the trolls broke! Cowards! You cowards! Oh no. Archer's right there. We did our we did our best, chat. But it's looking like we're We're in trouble. We're in trouble. It's just such a huge map. What what broke that thing? What? This is it! And Tyrion will valiantly fight. Get in the victory point! Damn, that's been the biggest unfortunate thing is, uh... So I don't think Tyrion will break even to massive casualties. I could be wrong. Orcs have caught... The archers... But the archers are looking like they're actually winning. Unfortunately. No! Magical spells! Oh god! I think they swore in Klingon. <laughs> I could see all of these things. All right, the, we we broke them there. Gonna break these ones here. They are broken. And if we don't recapture this, then we are totally lost. Ugh. Ah, uh, Tyrion's uh, got a really nice sweeping attack on from horseback. I don't think we're gonna win this chat. <laughs> I don't think we are. I think Tyrion is gonna go all the way. You being Tyrion? Not yet. We're not. But again, as the target density kind of lowers, let's back these ones up a bit. He's killed 471 orcs so far. And that's that. That will be that. Ugh. They killed that battering ram, they would not get in so fast, and you maybe had a chance. I mean, by the time they, they had gotten in, like, the battering ram only really got Tyrion inside. Um, and he probably could have knocked down the door even if he was just attacking it, so I don't know. I'm not really sure what the best course of action was. Considering we had no character, I think we did alright. We made him pay for it, though. Enemy failed to spot our Avalorn ambush. How is this an ambush? I don't even see- I don't even see them! Wait a minute! How are you deploying down here? What? Is the map down here, or is it up here? What? Where was this battle supposed to be? Is it supposed to be down here? I thought this was the battlefield. I don't suppose we can actually physically walk down either. And it's not- it's not registering down here as a deployment zone. I wonder if they will also spawn up here. Yeah, like what happens if I move reinforcements? Where does that go? Do we think the battle's gonna be up here or down there, chat? Finally, a big beta bug, right? What's the worst that could happen? Okay, this is worse than I thought. The enemy is not here. Unless the enemy's in the woods right there? Oh god. Alright. <laughs> Who's ambushing you? I'm ambushing them. Hmm. Well, chat, guess we'll, uh, wait ourselves a moment here. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Super mountain climbing orcs. Yeah, there they go. Like goats. Heading off the edge. Let's go, lads! Tunnel stance. We still haven't seen the enemy yet, though. Alright, Grom has made it to the bottom. And I see a enemy unit in red right here. Oh no, are they underground or something, I wonder? Alright, reinforcements have arrived. Grom, where's where where's the bed? Where are they at? 
Where are they at, Grom? Go inside the gate? I'm guessing the army is actually, like, clipped through underground somewhere, is my guess. We will reload that turn then, because that's clearly, clearly being, being buggy. Gonna kill him! They bring magic. And the lady. Oof. Oh no! Hawk Rider down. Ugh. Feel bad for them. Poor Hawk babies. Nasty Skullikers are very good against knights. They surprised the hell out of me when I first fought them. Yeah, there they go. Armor piercing. Just clipping the legs out of the horses, cutting the hoofs right off of them. Slipping a jagged piece of, I don't know, rusty iron between the, uh, the, the strap points of the armor. Kind of just taking a uh, pummeling from the arrows. And there's the victory. Already. I want my goblin arrows! I mean, I want my explosive dragon arrows! This is not going as planned. The elves are dying before they get dragons, chat. This is unacceptable. We need dragons. Does anybody have a dragon in these trying times? Anybody? I'll take those and dripping tips. Such a gross way of wording that. Scarred veteran. Go find Emmerich. I mean, he's so far away, though. He's like... He's like here, man. But yeah, like... Realistically speaking, how many, how long would it take for Grom to find the earliest dragon he can? It would have to be Emmerich, wouldn't it? Or the Beast Tamer Dark Elf Lord. But he needs to... He needs to be high enough level to have his mount. Although, you know what? I bet right now, I bet they do. Maybe, maybe that's what we do. After this war's over, we go, we go hunting for a dragon chat. It's gonna take a lot of turns to get there, though. Zombie dragons should get the same buffs regular zombies get. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I completely agree with you on that. Oh, runs to the garrison. Don't care. Bring him on! I could just get in there and wah because I'm a freaking war boss. Um, let's see. It is vanguard deployment, though. So whether for better or for worse, we can start up here. Oh, I can't start on the hill. That's unfortunate. Oh! They're orc error boys, so they, they actually can't do anything. Uh, we'll put them here. Rum the fat! Oh, Grom! You beast! Regeneration wah! Pop all the cooldowns. That's right. Enemy is still approaching. Alright, we've made them run in fear. Get him, Grom, get him! I think you missed all those ones, unfortunately. Uh, chariot's down here. Get him, Grom! Rawr! Bam, 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 bam. Oh! Oh! Rides on through. Back through again. Bam! Shotgun! Wow! That did a lot of damage. Ow! Grom's Wa is just so nasty. The 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 regeneration for the for the whole army, or at least for the the goblins. I don't know if it's everyone. Let's go, use gits. He's so fast. Yeah, uh, I mean he's got 84 speed. There are certainly faster units out there, but that's not bad for a a biggin like Grom. The enemy has emerged. Okay. Launch it into the woods now. 
Oh, it just rallied! Oh! Yes! I love it! I love it! Chop these creepy things down to size. Jamie you can't knock them down on the horse and have them, like, remount. Goblins are facing the wrong way! Oh no! Totally not my fault. I blame goblins. Oh god. Oh god, 38 speed. Oh god, 30... Okay, we're slightly faster! Just keep running! Just keep running! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have these pump wagons actually back up because they're pretty hurt. Not a great thing. He's obviously got charge defense against large. Grom's weaving. He's dropping auras. He's dropping abilities. He's getting down in the woods. He's activating his stuff. He's going in. He's getting caught on trees. He's going in. He's getting caught on trees. He's going in. He's caught on trees. He's going in. And he's in! At long last. Is that the one that people, like, shoot, like, basically it's between Grimhammer and that one? They're both kind of similar? I don't know, the Dragon Isles are scoping out dragons. I send you on a great journey. Eat many magic mushrooms. I mean, night goblin mushrooms. Sure, and magic mushrooms. Eat all the mushrooms. Just go do that. Go for a nature walk and tell me what you see. Not you, chat. Talking to my orcs. Alright, anywho. Twilight Sisters can get Forest Dragon pretty quickly, definitely before turn 69. Yep, Lu Luin... The fact that I saw Luin on his Hippogriff makes me think everyone's got their big mounts right now. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy Some me. treasure. Sail to the wreck. Uh, versus Vampire Co. Sure, we'll fight this. We're gonna go get the treasure. Let's just get in there, shall we? Let's go! They've got cannons, after all! What's this? The trolls are juking! They juke to the right! Oh my god, they're doing the flea flicker play! Whoop! I know nothing about sports, but I've heard of the word flea flicker before. Wah! Get in there! Stab him with the pointy ends! Look at the broken blade nose on that goblin. That's got a hurt. Just look at that one. Dude's got a, a, a blade shunted where his nose would be. That's got to, like, hurt so much more than it helps in any capacity. Stop. They're already dead. You're right. They are. Well done, everyone. We've got the treasure. Well done. Why didn't the AI move to take the hill? When the AI has a siege advantage, they typically don't move. They hold their formation and make you come to them. Slanesh just offers Grom buffet table after buffet table. Alistar. I probably should have played that one. Who says no to free food? Because the, the unicorn gate's been taken. Oh, we've got a wa though. It's wah time! Damn, I don't have... Oh, damn! Yeah, I'll take the Crimson Killers. Damn, I gotta pick a target, though. Oop, the, the event was... Whoa! 8,000 found on the island! Hell yeah! Oh, god, that was... I'm not sure if that's a landing point. That might not be. Holy crap, this place is hard to land on. I am here to inform you that our treaty is at an end. Archon, strength rank 2. Run away! He sees the- he sees us, like, running, and Carl Franz is trying to catch us, and we're just snowballing into a bigger army as he's chasing us. Granted, when this army reaches max, I don't think it can beat Carl Franz. Tyrion? I'm sorry, Orion? Visiting your cousins on the homeland? This is very unexpected. And look at that, with Bretonian knights in- in their- their midst as well. No dragon unless the mount counts. I think the mount does count. 
I had heard that it does. It says close victory, and we do have our wah. Well, we'll have to see anyways then, won't we? This is fine! This is fine! This is uh, nothing is wrong! Everything's okay! Alright! Wow! Oh, okay, that did a little bit of damage. A little bit. Hawk Riders are the sister's best unit. I mean, if you're a player playing it, I would I would agree with that probably because you get that that crazy uh, special attack. Oh god, what is that? What is that? Ugh. Not quite so bad. Or I'm just gonna attempt to blast him again. I'm gonna belch his green magic. Or maybe not. Maybe he's just gonna do like no. Oh, there he goes. This just takes a moment to cast, I guess. No! Grom! Why? Why, Grom? I need you to not do that. All right, wah. Gonna come off of your high horse sooner or later. You elf. Meanwhile, the Crimson Killers make it a right proper mess of things. If five, they're not gonna move. Lob some rocks at him. I guess we don't actually have to kill the dragon. We, we, we just have to defeat an army that has one in its army. Whether this counts or not, we still don't know, though. By the way, reinforcements have arrived. Oh, yeah, goblin arrows. Look at the arc on those. What is killing Grom? This is a bloody fight. One that we are beginning to win. And there's the victory. Well, I guess we'll find out if we got the, uh, the dragon meat. I don't think we did, though. If we get a dragon heart, we can cook a meal that makes it so that all of our arrows are, have bombs strapped to them. Don't ask me how. It just works. Kind of, kind of like Bethesda games. We waste dragon meat on arrows. <laughs> Dragons is a meal for kings, as we know. Oh, new ingredients. We got it. We got it. Dragon, oh, it's Dragon Tail, not Dragon Heart. Dragon Tail, Dragon Breath Ammunition for Goblins, Centigore Milk. Yeah, me milk Centigore. Sweet boy he was. Oh! <laughs> I've never read that ingredient before. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um, what does it give you for a benefit? Immense power for rogue idols. Troll meat for regeneration. We need to cook, Jesse. Immense power for rogue idols. 10% research rate. So, so guzzling male centigore milk gives you immense power and big brains, apparently. Spider egg yolk. Guzzling male centigore milk. You, hey, listen, chat. They're the ones that came up with this. Five rap, frenzy, fire resist. I'll do a random amount of gold things for that one. All right. Nobody wants a soggy bottom. Uh, we're gonna take those arrows for a spin real soon. Real soon. Heck, why don't we just go to the moon shard? We're gonna fight it just so we can see it. So, Chad, how many of you guys have ever, have never seen the dragon ammunition for Grom the Ponch's army? Ah, oh, yes, yeah, Centigore milk. They open up with their ordinance. Oh, shit. Even better. You ready for this, chat? You ready for this? FIRE! BAM! Oof!
Causing lag. Yep. They're not even all getting to, to shoot all that much either, so... The, the volley would normally be even more powerful than that. <laughs> I think they actually reduced their particle effect a little bit. It used to be... I feel a bit more than that. Friendly fire? Yup! Yup! How long are these, the explosive arrows? 15 turns, and then I can remake them just whenever I want. Yeah, they're all bunched up, so I don't think they can all actually fire. But again, I'm pretty sure that it only counts for his army. So, not every, not every unit's going to have that on the edge of our capabilities here. Another wall? I'm going to say, I'm actually not sure if uh, we're spread out really enough for this. Middle one to tank, maybe. Move these over here. Why does he just sound like Burke? They get, you're probably thinking of when he imitates the goblin who does his bad moon impersonation. Explosive ordnance. Now we're beginning to see the bigger consequences of... That's a bit more like it. <laughs> The trees are like, oh my god! Stop it! Ugh. Ugh. Did you go back to Bretonia with this new technology? Oh! There's a general over here. Oh, and there's some dryads right there, too. I bet they're flammable. Damn. Kills performance, unfortunately, but... When friendly fire causes more deaths than the enemy? Well, then you're just playing an actual orcs and goblins or skaven army. As I've said many times before, the reliability of everything in this game is crazy. So what do you think of the dragon arrows, chat? For those of you guys who haven't seen it before. <laughs> Why do the arrows go boom? Because of, uh... Uh, dragon tail meat. Yep, <laughs> dragon tail meat. Oh, he's got a garrison! I'll fight it. Cent Centigore mayonnaise, uh. So this is just gonna be biggins. Four minutes. I mean, that's gonna save time for them getting on the- Like, it's gonna take more time for them to cross the battlefield anyways. Alright, leading from the back. I'm debating between whether we just rush the field. Or try and get through. I guess we're just gonna rush the field. Have Black Orcs try and swing up through. And do I think the AI is a bit too passive? Yeah, they can be. I'm sure it's a tough balance though between trying to not have anti-player bias, but also a good challenge. So now here's the big thing: if they run off the table, or if they if they break, they're fl they're actually gonna completely break off the table. Uh, my biggins! My biggins! Now, as I was saying before, they are peasants. So they might not be able to... Gee, oh, they got pox arrows! That's what it is. I think we're gonna... Our, underestimating the peasants is gonna be a very bad thing. Alright! Time to chop up some peasants! And I know that their armor, their arrows do not have armor piercing, so I'm hopeful that we will be able to 
do some good things here. Biggins are in combat with the archers and are ripping them apart. Black orcs are still holding up over here. Bowman, their lord, is fighting hard. Our line is collapsing back on them now at this point. These are both archer units. We're gonna we're gonna rush to try and escort them off the table. These archers are trying to escape! Do not let them! Let's see. Black orcs are still holding. Unit losing slightly, it says. What the wait a minute! What? Does the whole army have them? I thought it was just Grom! Oh my god! That's different. Fire. Fire. Play the map that's Total War Warhammer 1 that's literally a tabletop? No! I never heard of this. Was this an Easter egg or something? Only after you press the Wah. I mean, that wouldn't make any sense for the reasons for it, but... I think they just have didn't get into combat until then. Well, I don't know if it's gonna help us break these guys or not, but... It might hurt them. Let's see. Oh, they're definitely not liking that. Woohoo! Imagine this for sieging an anti-siege. Blasting up a, a wall. Now with that said, defeating these treekins actually might be a little tricky. Ugh. The smoke just rising. Wee! You can kind of see pain on their face as they're trying to get, get away. Very satisfying acoustics for it, too. I believe it can also stun movement as well. They're out of here. Heroic victory, it thinks. You know what? Let's fight it out. Playing Wood Elves in multiplayer right now and have their Fire Rain Rockets. That's kind of broken. What, the Hellfi the Hellfire Rocket Batteries? Okay. This is gonna be a big boom boom battle. Now, if they're deploying like that, I'm literally gonna have all of my archers on a different side. And we're gonna work on just wrapping around. These are Orc Error Boys. Could leave them here to defend. Crimson Killers. Wow, they're going to deploy through the swamp. That is water, right? Yeah, that is. Yeah, here comes the boom boom. Our goblins have armor. Although they have armor piercing. Goblins are moving. Oh, never mind. They're going to chase them up over to here. Chase them, trolls. Hold them in place for a moment. Ah, damn it. It's like they know. Here we go! Trolls will regenerate. They are broken! Reinforcements have arrived. They apparently did not re- Oh, I guess I forgot to remove them. That's okay. They're being impacted by skirmish mode. Yeah! It's not even showing all the blasts that it should be. Actually, what happens if we target one of these things? Whoa! <laughs> oh 
my god! Again! Again! It went bye bye. What about this lord over here? Or hero? Assassin? That's pretty strong. Wow! For goblins, that ain't bad. Don't let him reach our front line! Fire! Yeah, it looks like they actually uh, aren't showing every explosion like they're supposed to be in Total War Warhammer 2 they did. It's still pretty cool, though. Oh! We got more! Actually... Hmm. So many good targets. See, the oh, the wah ones do not, by the looks of it. Bombarding! How much stagger does the explosions do? By the actual numbers, I don't really know the answer to that. Now, the wall is worn off right now, so I don't think that's what it does. We're gonna regenerate. Crimson Killers uh, have taken a lot of damage, probably being amongst the explosions. And there's the break! Yeah, that, that was that was pretty shredding. Pretty shredding. Well, all right, dragon arrows. Woo! It's like ima imagine being the elves and just wondering what the hell kind of like arching technology these goblins have. And I strike you. I want to see a little more boom boom. What can I say? Teeny weeny bit more boom boom. Okay. Let's give the archers some space. Oh yeah, and these archers have vanguard deployment too, by the way. So they're gonna like open up and and feel this. We's just gonna make it hurt. We is just gonna make it hurt. Boom! Oh! The lag! They're dead. They're dead! No! <laughs> what do we do? Oh! Shit, 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 shit! Anybody alive out there? Oh, run! RUN! <laughs> oh my god. What is this, D-Day? Yes. Goodbye! Tell your friends what you saw! <laughs> Thank you guys again for tuning in today. Thanks again, guys, and we will see you all next time!